beginner crochet series, the Linen Stitch, a perfect beginner stitch that you can make beautiful dishcloths all the way to beautiful blankets and even in planned pooling. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Good Knit Kisses, where we stitch our love and love our stitches. I'm your host, Kristen, and I'm going to be showing you a series of beginner crochet videos. This series is going to be in my style, and I'm so happy to bring this to you. So stay tuned for all the videos that are coming. As always, I suggest that you watch the video through the first time before attempting to get the idea and all the tips along the way. Then grab your yarn and hook and pause as needed to crochet along with me. Let's begin. The linen stitch is a great stitch to learn as your first stitch pattern beyond learning the basics that we've already covered, which is the single crochet, half double, double, and the treble. So if you go back to your beginning basic lesson one where we talk about the single crochet, and you can refer to that down below in the link, then you can make this linen stitch. It makes a really sweet little V that goes across all the row, and then it offsets on the next row, and so you have this stair-stepped or offset, offset pattern. You can make it in a solid or make it in a color changing yarn and even do a little plan pooling. Now we're not going to cover plan pooling in this video, but this is going to be a great next step to jumping into it. In fact, this video we're going to cover as a one row repeat linen stitch. It's also called a moss stitch or granite stitch. So if you hear those, it's the same thing. The basic stitch is a single crochet and a chain and it repeats. But on other versions, you might see the beginning and the ending of each row is different and you have to remember if you're on the second row or the third row. Not today, I'm going to show you a one row repeat. Plus a bonus, this foundation row, sometimes you get too many chains, right? Well today I'm gonna to show you how to take out some of those chains and then you don't have to worry about it. So let's begin and dive into the linen stitch. We're gonna start with a medium weight yarn and I'm going to start with my slip knot, take the back loop over the front and take the back loop up and over the front again for a slip knot and we'll insert our hook. Just use the hook that's appropriate for you. I'm using an I-9 hook or five and a half millimeter. I'm gonna stick that right in there and pull on it and I am ready to begin. Now, normally with the linen stitch, you would hear me say, use a multiple of two, so an even number of stitches. I'm gonna say, make your even number of stitches plus one. Okay, and that's to get this repeat that I'm going to show you how to do. Now, if you accidentally make too many, I'm actually gonna show you how to fix that, so don't worry about it. So go ahead and chain. I'm gonna show you how to chain and make uh, take one out. So we're gonna make 20 chains right now for our foundation. Now, if you were doing this from the start, you would say 19 or 21. That way we have an odd number. Okay, so let's go ahead and start chaining up 20. And pause your video as you need. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, now that we've made our chain, we're going to go into the third chain from the hook. So we do not count what's on our hook. We skip the next chain that's down here, and we skip the next one, and we go into the third one. So insert in, and we're going to single crochet into that third chain from the hook. So yarn over, pull up a stitch. Okay, so we've got two on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two, and we've made a single crochet. Now we're gonna chain one. And this is going to repeat. We're going to single crochet, chain one. What we do next is we're gonna look down on our foundation chain. We're gonna skip the next one. So not this one that's pulled back here, but the very next stitch here, this chain. We're gonna go into the next one after that. So skip one and then single crochet into that stitch. So yarn over, pull up a stitch, yarn over, pull through two, and immediately chain one. Go into our foundation, we're gonna skip one, go into the next one, single crochet, chain one. So you're just gonna continue this all the way down and do that until you have three stitches left or three chains left down here. And that is gonna be a row one. I'm gonna show you how to continue on. Technically, this is our foundation row and we'll do row one right after this. So see you in a moment. Skip one, single crochet, and chain. See you soon.
Okay, so I've got three chains left, one, two, three, and I only need to skip one and chain and go into that second chain here uh, for my last stitch, and then this last one is not going to be used. Remember, I had you do an extra one. So let's just go ahead and keep going. We skip one, and then we single crochet into that last stitch here, okay? So if you had chained um, the two plus one or the odd number, then um, you would be done. But if you have this last one left, let's um, after. So I'm going to show you how to continue this. We're going to turn our work and then chain. Now, normally I would have you do our turning chain before we turn our work. And the reason why is because this, this one row repeat will actually make more sense when you do it this way. So let's go ahead and turn our work and we're going to chain up two times, one, two, okay? In other versions, you'll see it only chain once, and you'll see why here in a moment. All right, so I'm gonna pull this up closer so you can see it. Let me pull back my stitches, and you can do the same on yours. If you notice, where we had chained between our single crochets, you can see this is a more substantial, um, thicker chain here, okay? So I'm gonna go into that hole. This is the chain one space. So we go into the chain one space, and we're going to bring up a loop, okay? And then we're just going to go ahead and single crochet right into that chain one space, okay? And then we chain one again. So remember, single crochet, chain one. So you go down to the next space. You pull this back, and you can see that there's this more substantial, thicker part. You can usually feel it with your finger really well. You go into there, pull up a stitch, and single crochet, and chain one, okay? Come down to the next one, go into that next space, pull up, a stitch and single crochet and chain one. If you're having a hard time looking at it, you can come down here and see that there is this little V-shaped stitch that goes here and here. It makes like a little V. You see that V there? Uh, into that stitch. That's that uh, single crochet that you did before. And then there's another one down further. So in between those two, it's like a bridge. Like these two things hold up this middle part of the bridge. So you're just going right into that space, pulling up a stitch, and single crochet. So go until you get to the very end down here before this big bump is, and I will meet you down there and show you what to do at the end of the row. See you in a moment. Okay, so I'm coming down to the end. I've got one more chain one space, and then I have this part right here. So um, let me go into my last chain one space that I can see. It's right here. Single crochet, chain one. Okay, now I can see where um, this this part here where I had the my original turning chain is, and I'm just going to stick my hook right in there and pull up a stitch and make a single crochet, okay? So I made my single crochet. I'm gonna turn our work and repeat our row one is here. So we're gonna chain one, two, and then we're gonna single crochet into that first chain one space that we find, and crochet one, or I'm sorry, chain one, and then go into the next space, and single crochet, chain one, and keep going across. So the repeat is turn, and then you chain two, and make your single crochet chain one across. And then at the last part, so you just keep repeating until you run out of stitches, and run out of those chain one spaces. And then that very last part is where we're going into our, our um, chain two space for our last single crochet of the row. So we're getting closer to it. Just keep going, pause as you need. Okay, here's my chain one space, single crochet and chain one. And then here is where this big thick part is down at the end. This is where the chains two space is. I'm going to pull up a stitch and single crochet into that. And so now we have just completed our second row, but, but this is going to be a repeat. So this second row you're repeating is really a one row repeat though. And what it does is it will offset these V-shaped stitches. So after you finish this row, you're just going to continue until you get um, 
another, this is about three and a half inches wide. Get another three and a half inches and I'll see you at the end of that. I'll show you how to finish that off and also how to get rid of that extra little chain that you did in the beginning. And you can use it on any project in the future where you've gotten too many. Pause your video and I'll see you in a moment. So I've continued on with my sample and I'm ready to finish it off. I've finished this last stitch and I'm just going to yarn over and pull through one last stitch and go ahead and cut our yarn, which I've done. And then you are done with that. So then you just need your tapestry needle to weave in your tail, your uh, this ending one, but also the beginning. And right here is where I'm going to fix this extra little chain that I have made. So if you made just an enormous amount of several of them, however many you need to, um, this is how you would pull it out. So you can work with a blunt tapestry needle uh, or one that has the little um, bent end on it. Maybe it's a little sharper and just pull that out. So I just go through where the stitch is, kind of pull on it and get that little tail out of there and just pull it once. And there it is. It's like magic. <laughs> and you have permission to do this. This is okay. It still retains that little slip knot there. And then you would join your tails. I hope you enjoyed making the linen stitch today. It really is a great versatile stitch. You can make yourself a washcloth all the way to a beautiful sweater in this one. A great first scarf is um, really pretty in this stitch. Stay tuned for our next videos on the granny squares. We are going to be working on the classic granny square and the solid one as well as a corner to corner coming up in this series. So be sure and subscribe and click on that link and hit the notifications to get notice of when we have our next videos coming out. Thanks for joining us today, where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.